I wish we were in a world where Hillary Clinton disappeared from politics, but she continues to tout herself across the global stage as some sort of leader. She was in Belfast in Northern Ireland in order to give a chance or a commencement speech at Queen's University. She was dressed up in the full regalia, but a couple of people in Ireland served her a little reminder of what they thought of her and what a lot of people uh, seem to. Let's take a listen to that. Funny, you know, you're watching this because she she put it out there as like being hailed abroad in Northern Ireland. It was a big thing for her and the Clinton administration. And she goes there. This is the reception that famous soft power that she had uh, whenever she was mm. Secretary of State. There's a lot going on, um, I think, within the clip. It's just funny and amazing that she th that they think you know even after all this time, you can bring her here without all the baggage of the Obama administration, Libya, and more. And look, it's always just personally satisfying. Like when we showed you that clip of uh, Bush getting shouted yeah. at by an Iraq war veteran to see them directly confronted. Because the most entitled woman on the planet really believes that she's in, you know, entitled to this, like being hailed. She, look at her, she was dressed in like full regalia with a little kid like holding, you know, dressed in almost like colonial outfit. I thought that's what we weren't supposed to be about, so. Just, it's a humbling experience. Yeah, it's interesting to think about the fall from grace of the Clintons. Because mm -hmm. you think about up until very recently, I mean, they did the Clinton Global Initiative and everyone, everyone converged on New York and this convening of all the global elite and all the do-gooders in the world. And it was such a hot ticket and it was such a prestigious thing. And um you would go in the lobby, you'd see all these people, these power brokers having their meetings and wanting to be seen yes. among the attendants. It was like the hottest ticket in town. This was like back in my MSNBC days. And I remember like people at MSNBC would brag about getting an invite to this or that to event. Clinton party? Oh my God. At the Clinton yeah, Global Initiative is a big media <laughs> event. All of this. I mean, but all of these global donors, all of these heads of nonprofit organizations, Nobel Prize winners, business leaders, all of them would converge on New York. And of course, Hillary and Bill and Chelsea were yep. the center of the show. This was this whole world that they'd created for themselves where they got to be cosseted and feted and adored um, and sucked up to. And now, when you actually leave your little cosseted confines of whatever bubble you've constructed around yourself, this is the response that you've seen. And uh, I, I think that this kind of like re, uh, reimagining, not really reimagining, but actual reckoning with the, the truth of the Clinton legacy, this has obviously been going on for quite a while where Bill has either been, you know, very defensive about parts of his legacy, he's actively apologized for certain parts of his legacy. And then the other piece of this is, um, you know, places, a lot of rural areas of America had a pretty strong affinity for the Clintons. It yes, used to be that Bill would get rolled down into more red areas, more rural areas, because his very first campaign before he actually got into office and did anything, he ran in this very populist yeah. way, um, that I feel your pain, all of that. And so um, one very specific example that I happen to know about uh, having lived in Kentucky is he used to be very popular like in the mountains of Kentucky. And he went there during Hillary's campaign and was just absolutely booed. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, well, reportedly- they NAFTA. Right, from the people coal, who were there, right. Uh, behind the scenes, he was apparently pretty shocked by that mm -hmm. because he still has this image of himself as like this populist, this person who's beloved in rural America and in the heartland and all of that. And it's just completely soured and could not 
possibly be further from the truth at this point. No, absolutely right, but they'll continue to act as if that's not the case. When they've enriched themselves to the tune of like hundreds of millions of dollars and you know, still wanted to prance about the world and be feted, but their day is over. So there we go. There you go. All right. All right, guys, enjoy the day. We'll have more for you tomorrow. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching. That's right. Just as a reminder, you can become a premium subscriber today. Watch the full show completely uncut. Our reactions to each other's monologues. You get to listen to it. You get to ask us questions. All that good stuff. Link is right there in the description or at breakingpoints.com. Best of all, great way to say screw you to the mainstream media.